everyone, welcome to another stream. <laughs> my name is Amanda Davis Court. I'm a children's book illustrator. This is my friend Anthony Sims, the co-host <laughs> of the stream. What? What are you laughing at? Punk Well, I got head. like demoted to friend. Every other stream you oh, start. Best friend. This is some dude I found on the street. This is some hey, guy. Uh, this is a horrible uh, monster. This is a stain on Keep a rug. Going. Wow. <laughs> Demoted all the way. Keep going. Keep going. I think there's oh. like stuff in the ocean that's pretty, oh. like. Oh no! Nice. He's the straw in the He's turtle's nose. Sea, it's bad. No, uh, this is my best friend Anthony Sims. Hi. Everyone appreciate him. Round of applause. Woo. He's talking me through my low energy today, so we're loving Anthony and uh, Kendall's in the chat too. Hi, Kendall. You got gold star. Woo. Uh, yeah, I have a feeling that the energy is going to come in loopy waves today. <laughs> Jake Green gives two rounds of applause. Two. Wow. Double them up. Wait. <laughs> loser, loser, double loser. Whatever, loser. Do you remember that? <laughs> I never forgot with you around. Because <laughs> I say it every day. I find an <laughs> yeah. excuse every single day. <laughs> the choreography has gotten a lot better. I remember it from my old my older sister's friends taught it to me and I think they got it from a movie. Loser loser double wait loser loser there we go. Got to correlate with the <laughs> words double loser whatever loser. Is <laughs> that bring gotta... it on? It feels like maybe bring it on. <laughs> As, uh... Burr, it's cold in here. There must be some clovers in the atmosphere. I think you mean Taurus. Oh. They definitely went oh, in we their oh, we oh. gymnasium and ice, stole their ice, ice. moves. <laughs> Any, anyways. <laughs> so today we are going to draw some characters. That's the plan. Animal characters. Animal characters, baby. Uh, I have an idea for a book that's about a goose. Did I just hear something? Maybe it's the music. Anyways. Was it uh, a goose? Honk! <laughs> oh, wow. <whoa. laughs> yeah. I've been practicing my honking, by the way. Right after your double double loser thingy? <laughs> uh, or have you been practicing that while honking it? Honk, 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 <laughs> honk, honk, honk. <laughs> That's you goosing it. Instead of my <laughs> valley girl accent, I've been working on my goosey accent. Goosey. It's not Gucci, it's goosey. Oh, that's good. So anyways, uh, Hong Kong, Hong Kong. <laughs> no, I was doing, um, the. do you remember the Pixar short? I think it's called On the Wire or something. Or With the big bird. The big bird. Yeah. Do you yeah, remember yeah. what that big bird sounds like? It's called For the Birds or something. For the Birds. You're great. You're he great. honks, doesn't he? He's yeah. like a honking. He's like, oh. <laughs> He's so endearing. I love him so much. One day I perfected that sound. I will oh, tell wow. you, I was exactly the voice actor who did that role or, <laughs> or piece of musical instrument that they used. <laughs> I made that right here. That's and cool. uh, I was very proud. Anyways, anyways. Let's that was recently. Recently, just the other day, I was just the other day. The you can't do it. <laughs> Come on, do it. It's a very loud thing, and I don't want to disturb my neighbors. Wait, where did you do it before? Just the other In day. My... <laughs> okay, so what's your excuse now? Go on. James is napping. I don't want to. Is wake he napping? Up. Yeah, the he's poor napping, sleepy but... baby. <laughs> okay, that's what I didn't want. I don't want that. Whatever that is, just goopy, goopy boy. <laughs> Whatever you don't want, you've done in the past. <laughs> it's funny when I do it. <laughs> it's funny when you do it. Sure, yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Jake says the audience is listening. <laughs> Honk for our fans. Honk, honk. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> it might be like that, um, the Rick and Morty voice, uh, Morty's voice, where he's like, oh, gee, Rick, you know, like sometimes if I really belt it, I can get there. But uh, it takes a lot of effort. For Rick. For Morty. Morty. You practice his voice? Not Morty's. It's actually the same voice actor who is... 
the time traveler in Gravity Falls. What's his name? Believe in Blorben. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Something the guy like in that. The brown overalls, right? <laughs> what? Lyndon Blandon. Lyndon Blandon. Oh, that guy. Yes. Okay, Thank you, yeah, Jake, Lyndon for the Blandon. knowledge always coming through. <laughs> Anyways, I can do a blend and blend in on very rare occasion. I believe you asked me to do it on stream once and I could not deliver because that's just. Oh, do it. No. <laughs> wow, I'm all this time you know. has passed and you haven't practiced once. Not committed. My practice is the only performance I give, okay? That's how I live. Uh, Jake says, <laughs> also old. the Earl of Lemon Grab. What's exactly. That? Lemon Grab is from uh, Adventure Time. Oh, I haven't seen all of Adventure Time. You gotta get on Adventure Time. And, and I didn't get on watch much of Rick gonna... and Morty. Uh, yeah, I am. I didn't either. So, uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, same. <laughs> Honestly. You feel me. <laughs> okay, we're going to be drawing today. Look at that. We're in Photoshop. And it's time for an adventure. Monkey paws. What? We've wasted that much time. Uh, okay, so... It's only been seven minutes. We've wasted more time in the past. <laughs> <laughs> Jake says, yay, drawing. <laughs> like, dang, we made him wait. <laughs> uh, okay, so I've got some uh, reference of different animals just to have on hand because I always, always, always find a point in which my brain stops working. Uh, or maybe I just never... It, it didn't work to begin with. Maybe I was just making stuff up. And so finding reference is the key way to just make your drawings better. And especially with animals, there's so much that you can gather by looking at them that you wouldn't, you don't know what you don't know, basically. Anyway, that was my spiel. So we've got a, a lovely little raccoon. We've got a chicken. We've that's got... not a raccoon. Oh, I'm seeing the delay. <laughs> you are. It's like, that's a badger. <laughs> uh, chicken. And then we got badger, badger, badger. And then we've got frog. And then we've got crow, and then we've got sheep, and then we've got pig. So, uh, what do you want to start with, Anthony? Tell me an animal. Um, well, maybe the pig, because you could do anything you want with those hooves since the reference doesn't exist. <laughs> I say put it on rollerblades. Oh, I was going to say, like, heels. This is, I'm good at drawing. <laughs> this is, I'm good at drawing with Anna and Anthony. <laughs> Honestly. Those heels just look like regular hooves, but maybe pointier. <laughs> They're stilet hooves. Come on. <laughs> uh, stilet hooves. Does that work? Yeah. Stilet hooves. Yeah. yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I want this to be more in the red family. Let's go up here. Boom. Okay. <laughs> now that we've done the hard work, um, I think what I want for this is to be a chonky kind of figure. By the way, I haven't drawn yet today, so warming up still. Oh, okay. It's actually, short legs. Yeah. Why haven't you drawn yet today? What have you been up to? <laughs> you want to know what I've been up to? Because that's going to be a tangent know. unto itself once again. <laughs> Wasn't there something you're going to show me on stream? Is that, that segueing is... into the same thing? Oh, it's a segue, baby. Oh, you've been knitting. Close. I mean, crocheting. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, hold we it closer. Draw... I can't see it yet. Hold me closer. Tell I only see days. the corner of it. What is that? Right. Shh, shh. Calm shh, yourself. Shh. Drum roll, everybody at home. <laughs> okay, so just to give you a preamble, I've been making a patchwork sweater out of these squares. Preamble accepted. I Move on. I started <laughs> connecting them. <gasps> Whoa. It's oh, going to be like it's the working. Top edge. It's working. It's working. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yes. <I'm> very <laughs> I like the dangly bits. Don't we all? <laughs> I think we do. So, yeah, this is the neckle, and then it goes down to the sleeves, which are going to be gathered at the cuffs, which are going to be like big balloon sleeves, like very loosey goosey. And then mm -hmm. it's going to be white along the top, like shoulder down to the arm. And then underneath here, it's going to be all of this gold like that wow. and then we've got green lining Gold, you all call around it, the huh? edges amber green is lining. its technical name but okay. i thought that might trigger you so you know. <laughs> <laughs> his sister's oh, name perfect. is amber 
Just talk to my therapist about I'm Amber this joking. morning. I'm <laughs> joking. Actually, Amber's watched us on YouTube. So hi, Amber, if you're watching. <laughs> oh, that's good stuff. Uh, also, hi to our YouTube friends. Do we have a Canadian Pulse today? Not that no, I see. it's just me on YouTube, I think. <laughs> just me. <laughs> One watching, it says. But it has two thumbs up. That's something. Was one of them you? No. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Y'all are coming through. Anyways, I'm very proud of myself, and it feels like a very close-to-end kind of project. Although, I have to say, I started uh, the whole project with the amber squares, and I found several of them that are off, <laughs> so I have to, like, fix them. <laughs> what do you mean off? Uh, I think the most common, pro common problem that I'm going to actually fix is uh, some of them don't have the light right amount of rows. The worst one oh. I saw was 16 rows instead of 19, which is supposed to be. Now you're going to have to slug it, sloth it. Um, Uh-oh. Uh-oh, indeed. She knows what I'm trying to do. <laughs> she won't tell me. Sloth it. There's a term no. for when you take crocheting uh, out. What's it start with? And it's called... What's it start Let with? Let me give you a big hint. No, a small one. Frog it. <laughs> <laughs> Pig heel it. <laughs> Stilet hoof it. <laughs> I think I just woke James up for sure. With that <laughs> okay, well, if he comes out, you bird noise, huh? You bird noise, huh? Uh, you honk like a goose, I mean. <laughs> yeah. Um, sure. <laughs> Well, Rian says, I mean, it makes sense. It makes sense. <laughs> oh my gosh. Slothing it's like frogging it, but doing it very slowly. Very slowly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Do, they call frog do they call it frogging it because you have to jump through hoops to undo it? Aren't they all like You know, you should really talk to the confederacy of um, <laughs> knitting and crocheting and like, just get up in there. Confederacy. And the confederacy <clears throat> of dunces <laughs> right right i tried reading that book i bought it in astoria you were there i remember i couldn't get into it yeah i uh i remember very vividly every single time i see the cover of it i'm like yeah. anthony couldn't read you <laughs> i couldn't read you <laughs> is that fair is that fair it's yeah. fair can you describe the cover two colors dude green orange red dude Green, orange, yellow, red. Okay, I'm not familiar with the color dude. Can you describe <laughs> on a color wheel where There's that might dude. land? <laughs> yeah, go on. And he's there. <laughs> Is he holding the color wheel? <laughs> Is he here now? <laughs> Is the dude here now? He's abiding. <laughs> the dude. What's that movie? That's that rug one. Uh, the rug one? <laughs> White Russian? Come on. What, what is it called? Uh, the dude. The dude abides. Dude, I haven't seen it. Everyone That's why I knows don't. This. Every is single it? It's about bowling, chat. right? Yes, it is. Everyone knows it. Oh, I know, I know. It's in my me. mind. The, the dude. Big Lebowski. Lebowski. <laughs> Never seen it, but it's on my to yes. do list. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. We said it before you chat. We said it before ah, you. Take that. I Maybe they're just they're like they know it. Let them work. Yeah, it like. Was we'll like, give him this one. <laughs> oh, Jake knew it. <laughs> oh, Jake always Jake knows. left. The Lebowski is, is strong. I don't know if he actually did. Okay, okay. I'm drawing, and I'm Is laughing. this a pig yet? I'm laughing, and I'm drawing. It looks like maybe one of those costumes that kids wear, where one of them's the head of the donkey, and one of them's the back end of the donkey. That's this is exactly the pig in your this. sweater? What? Is no. it holding a cell phone? Oh my gosh, calm down. Okay, I can't take this like live interpretation of drawing. <laughs> like, I don't even know what I'm drawing yet. And you're screaming stuff. <laughs> can't deal. It's amazing. How do you just concept it out as you go? Um, <sighs> no thought, head empty, just draw. <laughs> <laughs> Always a good question. Always. Uh, basically, I don't know if I like things until I put them down. And then I put them down, and I'm like, yeah or nah. Bruh. Yeah. Jake is not back. He may be gone for a while and will announce his return. Oh my gosh. By saying? Probably a big old honk or <laughs> first contact, I'm guessing. Honk or first contact? First contact in parentheses in a while. 
because I mean, technically it would be second contact. Just that roll off the tongue is fun. Is there as funly a... as that's first contact. Funny, exactly. Is there a hat that's called a pork pie hat? Sure. Yeah. I feel um, like that's a thing. Pork pie. Pork pie hat. Yep. It's cute. What does it look so like? I hope... Tell me. It's Describe like a top it. hat, like a but dude? shorter. A top hat, but shorter. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not against it. Oh, whoa. Mm -hmm. Oh, whoa. I found a fashion oversized straw hat, large brim sun hat, beach cap, big foldable floppy sunshade hats. It's fascinating. That sounds like a lot of fun. <laughs> Princess thirst contact. Oh my gosh. By the way, drink water. <laughs> I already drank all of mine. Uh. Go get more. No. I'll do it at Monkey Paws. Oh, Kendall says that's the hat that Walter White wears, who is from Breaking Bad, the main character. Muhammad's in the chat. What's that. up? Is this a Did you watch Breaking Bad? Uh, I started it and I, I couldn't. Um, I couldn't. The content, it's intense. It's very intense. And it was just not the vibe that I was into. I think, honestly, the pandemic has changed a lot of what I want from my my watchings and Entertainment. Readings. Yes. Entertainment. Uh, so maybe someday I'll, I can get into it. So many people have been like, it's the best show I've ever seen. But it makes me like want to get, want to get into it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I tried. So I yeah, will try fine. again, probably. I mean, I know people who have been like, I couldn't get into The Office. And then I watched it again two years later and I got it. And finally, like it clicked or whatever. So I want to give it a fair chance, um, but it's just when is the right time, basically. Well, it's probably like Game of Thrones Red Wedding stuff, right? Like, you just know that's what you're getting into, so... <clears throat> well, so far, why? it's It's just a like genre. That <laughs> yeah. That, like, I bet it gets there. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure it does in some context. I don't know if it would be that, like, consecutive, <laughs> but who knows? Um, but yeah, that, that was, that's something I don't want to revisit. That was a moment in TV where I was just like, nah, I'm good. Yeah, that show ended in a disappointing way. I'm so sorry. Oh, hey, Adobe Live, we're talking about the Red Wedding. No. <laughs> <laughs> welcome, welcome. We're recreating it with animal characters. <laughs> no, never, 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 ever, ever. Uh, Stranger so, Things, though, I feel like has <clears> been, <throat> especially this latest season, real good. That's so funny because I was just talking about this with Ryan on his stream, and then he also said that he'd come over here after his stream, so we might get him soon. Um, oh, I thought you went to Oregon. <laughs> 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 yeah, Ryan's going to show up at your door any second. What? Uh, cool. Are you the ready? weather's nice. We could go on a walk. Definitely, yeah. <laughs> If it was cold, I wouldn't be hospitable at all. I'd be like, yeah, I can't like, hang out, out with you. This is not, not okay. <laughs> you have to come back when it's sunny. I'm going to roll I'm gonna go curl into a ball now. Curl into a ball. Uh, oh. But yes, we were talking about Stranger Things, and uh, I told him that we've watched it twice now. <laughs> he was like, wow, twice? This latest season? Yes. Or part one or of this part latest one, season? Yeah. yeah. How many of you? How many times have I watched it so far? Just the one. Mm -hmm. um, but I'll probably revisit it before the second part. I was even considering watching seasons one through three before mm -hmm. season four started, but I never got around to it. I just watched some com um, compilation videos on mm -hmm. YouTube. Okay, but sorry. Maybe before part two, I'll start from the first season and work all the way through four again but that last episode of part one it was so long and so cinematic it was yeah, amazing definitely it, there was so much in that episode i loved so much. it <laughs> i might just revisit that one specifically again absolutely i think it's worth revisiting uh we rewatched it almost immediately because james really enjoys repeating shows <laughs> mm -hmm. um but also it's just it's an easy rewatch it's really good so, yeah, it is really good. good. I like it. Um, I feel like it's been a stronger season than two and three for me were kind of... Okay, yeah, kind of just 
plateauing here for a second before we have our next springboard into a... Oh, I was thinking it was going to be bad. I was very much expecting this whole season to be like a meh. And uh, it's because I, I would say in my ranking list it goes season one, now season four, season two, season three. Um, yeah, season, season three, three was... was not what I wanted at all. And so I was not expecting anything good, but there we are. Yeah. There we go. I was expecting good things mainly because of some of the press that I was reading mm -hmm. around it and the duffers themselves saying like, season four is like the penultimate season season five is when the show is gonna end so um, we're gonna have to start doing a bunch of like exposition and reveals and like really setting it up for this final season and season four the runtime for it is twice as long as any of the previous seasons where these episodes are consistently like 50 minutes to an hour long or more in oh, some yeah. cases like an hour 15 and then the last one was like an hour and 38 minutes or something so we're, season four is basically two seasons in one and yeah. then we're gonna get season five to like finish off the show and they're talking about how they're just wanting to include everything essential not do any fluff and just tell the story that they want to tell I love and that. i appreciate that so much so i'm looking forward to part two in july and season five whenever that comes out i hope it's not another three years between seasons <laughs> But we who knows? <laughs> um, and then they've got some spin-offs planned, which I have no idea what they would be about, but that's cool, I guess. Maybe we could get a prequel of sorts. I know they're doing what, doing that with Game of Thrones. On HBO, they're doing a series called House of Dragon, which seems like that could be good because it has a start and end. Yeah. They don't have to make something up for the last season because there's not enough material to actually do the story justice oh, yeah. i think if anything is to be learned from game of thrones it's write it beforehand <laughs> yeah seriously Please. um which has me concerned for that trilogy quote unquote of the king the king killer trilogy is that what it's called king killer king chronicles, killer chronicle? Yeah. yeah i think the author is, still hasn't written the third one but there's like a tv show in the works yeah, that's a little scary. I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like the Not a bit. Uh, but it is a really good story so far, so I, I have high hopes for it, but it's uh, definitely setting itself up for the same kind of Failure. treatment of Game of Thrones. <laughs> yeah, where yeah. it's like, wow, it's such a great beginning. Everybody's hooked on it, and then there's no ending. So where do we go from here? Uh, wing it. Yeah. Makers. Unfortunate. But until that happens, it's, you know, possibilities are endless. And I want to give the room to, you know, not write things off immediately and be like, I'm not going to watch it. Like, I'll watch it. I'll give anything a shot uh, if it's something I'm interested in. Oh, yeah, for sure. I'd watch it even if the two seasons were the only ones that followed the book. And for the third one, I'd just maybe read some reviews and... <clears throat> if it went the same route as the last season of Game of Thrones based on what other people were saying, I might just like, okay, I'll hold off on season three and just, just enjoy wait for the there. book yeah. <laughs> or just to have like a headcanon of what happens at the end instead of somebody else's attempt at. Exactly. I'm feeling a mustache for this guy and I don't know if it's because of Porco Rosso. Does he have a mustache? I think so, yeah. Yeah. It's smaller though, isn't it? Like, oh, like one of those tiny ones. Oh no, it's. Is it a bushel of hair? Yeah, it's kind of well, a small bushel, but basically what you have. If mm. maybe a little smaller, but. I don't know. Cool. Oh, and then it does that thing that Studio Ghibli hair does when something's like making the person's skin crawl it gets all like <laughs> fluffy and spiky <laughs> i'm looking at images of it I right now it. he's getting kissed on the cheek and oh, his cute. mustache is just like Ugh. i love that I oh i just watched a that. movie the other day called bell have you heard of it b-e-l-l-e -L -L -E. it's like a beauty and the beast story mm -mm. um it's this recent animation i think it came out in 2020 well last year 
<laughs> but maybe just started streaming recently. Um, it's kind of a half and half. The premise is going to something like the Matrix and you have got your avatar and it's like 3D animation. Oh. But then outside of that, it's 2D animated. Oh, um, interesting. Which I was thinking, like, is there cost reason behind this? Or was this like an artistic choice to make it look 3D on the inside, but 2D on the outside. I don't know. That is it wasn't my favorite looking 3D. It kind of felt rudimentary in a way. So I don't know if it was like a cough saving, saving measure or not. Anyway, it was good. But uh, the reviews I was reading and oh, Rotten Tomatoes has it at like 100% out of... I don't remember how many reviews. Maybe it wasn't 100%. Maybe I'm thinking of a different movie. But it was really high up there, like 95 to 100. And after I watched it, I was like, I mean, it was okay, but I don't understand, like, all of these raving reviews. Maybe I need to watch it another time and get, like, the subtext or something. But... I guess. Huh. That's interesting. Um, one of the voice actors in it sings, and they've got a very lovely singing voice. Okay. So. I might want to check out and see if they have any records out. I felt the same way after watching um, Encanto. Mm -hmm. Dolores' voice, voice oh. actress is also a singer. Well, is she the one from Hamilton that is... The older sister? Uh, and Peggy. And also... Anne Peggy? Oh, I hope not Anne Peggy. Yeah. The... Um... Call Don't it. feel like Anne Peggy got a lot of screen time or stage time, right? <laughs> well, she also played. Uh, Don't know how to say no to this. I don't know how to say no to this. So very different roles. <laughs> yeah, what was the mistress's name? The Reynolds Papers. Wow. The Reynolds Papers. I want to say Angelica, but it's wrong. That's the older sister's yeah. name, isn't it? Uh -huh. Eliza, oh, I feel like it was right there for a second. Like in the letter that he wrote. <laughs> well, time for another Hamilton listen, huh? Uh, clearly. <laughs> Have you ever I seen I was on my him? playlist for like a solid three months and just kind of faded away. Oh, it's, it's always on my playlist. But uh, the, what do you call it? The like filmed version on Disney Plus. Have you ever watched it? Oh, that's right. No, I haven't. Boy, gotta get up on it. I'll you know how they call pork bellies? Is this one pork belly? It's a pot bellied pork boy. Pot belly is even better, isn't it? <laughs> pot bellied pig? Yeah. Exactly. I like his. I, I like the idea of a big bell. Well, well then you'll love that movie I just watched. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. Calm yourself. Uh, Jurassic Park's coming out soon, yeah? Yeah. You gonna watch it? No. It's got Laura Dern. Well, I mean, I'm not gonna go to theaters to see yeah. it, but I'm definitely gonna watch it. I mean, if we didn't go to theaters to see everything everywhere all at once, then like... Which comes out today tomorrow no. on streaming or digital i think really i thought it was in july i don't think so <laughs> let me google it real quick okay that would be amazing because i want to see that so much thing, every it might be streaming in july but i know it becomes available for purchase soon hmm. By the way, uh, I gave I'm him kind of grandpa theaters. pants, like going over the belly with like the little, uh, what do they call them, darts. And this reminds me of grandpas everywhere, which reminds me of my grandpa who just turned 98 on Sunday. Holy moly. That's a lot of go, years. Go, Ted, go, Ted. <laughs> Ren found it before I could and says it was announced that everything everywhere all at once will be available to stream via purchase on both Apple TV and Amazon Prime beginning on Tuesday, June 7th. Today. That's today. And it's 331. Announced for happy birthday time. Thank you. <laughs> Ren says happy birthday you to your too. grandpa. It's <laughs> a lot uh, of birthday stuff thank going you. on. <laughs> um, yeah, but I don't know if that's 
will be available to stream via purchase. Does that mean you're just renting it or buying it? Uh, stream via purchase. Probably... I don't know. Probably or... I don't know. Definitely. I, I if it's not that expensive, I'll definitely do it. I've been waiting to see that movie for so long. What do you think is the cutoff price wise? Like how much are you for renting a movie? Yeah, renting. Or for buying one? Renting. Renting probably like ten. Gotcha. Yeah, I'm right there with you. Although fifteen maybe for this movie. Yeah, and because I live with a couple of other people that will also want to see it, we usually split the costs, so... <laughs> oh, Even if... says happy early birthday, Anthony. Ah, <laughs> it's on Saturday! It's exciting. Sorry, I interrupted. What were you saying? I think we, in the past, have split one of those higher-priced ones. Maybe totally. like a 20 or something. Or maybe it was... I think it was the Green Knight that we did that with yeah i could see that did you see that one uh no i still haven't seen it i wanted to way back when but uh kind of passed me by which is what i don't want to happen with everything everywhere all at once because i've had years of just being like i really want to see that movie and then like 10 years later oh now i can see it at you 10 years years okay what, what movie uh, several movies. There was, uh, I still haven't seen Blade Runner 2049, which is now on streaming and I can watch any time, but I still just haven't. Um, the newest Spider-Man, it took me like two years to see that one. Uh, actually, Wait. the Spider-Man before last. Oh, I was going to say, yeah. Because like, No Way Home or whatever it was called, you saw recently. Which also took about a year. Was it a year? I thought it was in Nine theaters months, in like, like January that. or something. And then came to streaming. No, it was like at least November of last year. Oh. At least in my memory. Well, it's very... probably gonna be the same way with Multiverse of Madness, which I really want to see, but it's no, not I think streaming that's yet. coming soon. Right? Is it? I think so. Ren, do you know? <laughs> Save me the trouble. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you're just using them as Google now. I see how it is. Oh, they get there faster than I do anyway. Why waste the effort? <laughs> Goat um, but yeah, I'm excited for that one. Oh, and I also heard good things about yeah, um, a new show called Miss Marvel. Miss Marvel. Yeah, Ms. Marvel. Ms. Marvel. Yeah. I've uh, followed along with some of the artists who worked on the comics and covers for comics of Ms. Marvel, and she always looks real cute. I think they're doing something different for the TV show of. I recall correctly based off of like what her powers are in the comic book and how they're going to handle them in the tv show interesting i think anyway i'm not super familiar with the character mm -hmm. but the review i was reading of like a, a someone that got an advanced preview of it said that they really liked the direction it was heading and that um the overall story felt grounded within that one show while still like nodding towards the existence of the mcu but being its own thing yeah and i like that definitely agreed isn't the new spider-verse movie also coming out this year or is that 2023 oof oof that's a i'm excited for that too good question <laughs> i'm excited for all of it yeah of course yeah we're content fiends <laughs> but um you know what i'm also Oh, wait, you finish oh, yeah. yours. Oh, I was just going to say, I don't know exactly when it's oh. going to come out. Go on. Something else that's also coming to theaters this month that I'm bummed that I won't be able to go see is uh, the 25th anniversary of The Fifth Element. Oh. Fifth Element. It's like a two-day special in theaters. It would be amazing to see that in theaters. If you uh, dressed up as Ruby Rod, then yes, it would be very amazing. Oh, that's why I want to see it in theaters. Ruby Rod. <laughs> Ruby Rod. Come on, mommy. Come on, mommy. Such a fun, quotable movie. I love it. It is good. I feel like a checkered shirt 
on a sheep makes sense, right? The sheep is reminding me of Zootopia. Bah. Yeah, oh my gosh, I have to show you guys. There's a great sheet in the Zootopia concept art book that I found when I was working on the, the project that prompted this. Uh, let me show you. Also, they have... Um, da, 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 what was it called? Ox? That guy? I hope I can find this image for you guys because it was great. Uh, Zootopia, by the way, is full of such great anthropomorphization, <laughs> which is a big way to say animals plus people. So go I really want to see the bad guys, too. But that was one of those other movies where it was like $20 to rent it. Mm. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I'd buy it for $20, but I wouldn't rent it for $20. I know. That's another big thing. It's very stupid. Uh, I'm not finding it. Well, it was basically a mouth pack. Um... Mouth Which is just uh, a bunch of different mouth positions for different animals. So it would show like how a snarl would look for a fox versus an ox versus a snake versus, you know, like whatever. And, yeah, and this was in the Zootopia art book? Well, I found it online. So I wasn't looking through the actual art book. If you think you can Google better than me. I mean, Rin hasn't gone back to me. So I'm going to see what my... <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, it's like hippo, horse, bogo, yak, bears. I don't know if this is like legit, but send it to It's a mouth pack. Okay. Oh do Discord. I... Discord. And uh and uh and Hello, hello, and I'm here. Uh... hello. It's on Pinterest, one of your favorite websites. <laughs> Rin's like, did I hear my name? What? <laughs> yes, what you found it. You're amazing. Okay. I googled going. Zootopia mouths art. <laughs> Is that good or what? That's great. Sorry, I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got it when I typed it in. <laughs> So this is the math pack that I was talking about. So yeah, there's a uh, very interesting comparisons and things like that. Like you see the horse, zebra, donkey all have kind of the same mouth. And then uh, Boko and Yak have the same kind of mouth. All cats have this kind of mouth. No teeth, win. <laughs> <laughs> win. <laughs> Uh, and then the hippo is completely unique, which I love. That hippo mouth is just wonderful. And I believe this is uh, art from Corey Loftus, who did a lot of the animal designs. Uh, and they are top tier amazing. Anyways. Very nice. Fun things. <laughs> uh, Kendall says, I love details on art, uh, on art books of all concepts. I know. It's basically just research and thinking <laughs> it's great it's good good stuff uh should this sheep be holding anything what was the pig holding a cup a uh, cup of, and hands in pocket what would the sheep be holding to give to the pig to put in his cup tuppence rin suggesting a bag <laughs> sheep bag sheep haggis bag. Oh my god. it hold its own stomach. <laughs> Ew. Uh... E W E. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> uh, bag of some sort. I'm going to do a cross. Kindle says that reminds me the neighbors have their sheep again. Uh, what? That's good. Again? The neighbors have what sheep. What happened? to the sheep they got shepherd away and they came back oh oh, oh they regrew sheep. them i don't know about that you don't know no i missed that part in our classes oh kendall says and they are always screaming oh they return to them when bleeding. other people or they return them to other people during the winter oh 
oh. return them to other people. Excuse me. Uh, different people take care of them at different times of the year. Like migrating? <gasps> Where do they go? Probably somewhere that's more warmer. California. Sorry, I had a I had a hiccup. <laughs> Sounds like you made it through. Uh, somewhat, but not completely. Rune's making attempts at sheep jokes. I'm pretty sure. Attempts, <laughs> <laughs> wow, dude. We've got barbecue, and then <laughs> sounds like you're from Gel. <laughs> I don't know what bar gel is. What's Wait, that? say that again. How? Bah, but gel. is there any context? Or maybe it's bagel. 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 Yeah. Bagel. 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 We all know it's bagel. I don't know. People make fun of me how I say bagel, so whatever. No, no. Yeah, yeah. I get it. <laughs> Milk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why don't you dip your bagel in it, huh? Freak. I think I will. <laughs> I love good bagel and milk. 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 <laughs> I gotta say it right. Milk. Malik. Rami Malik. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, Anthony Rami says Malik. Milk instead of milk. No, I don't. Um, Rami Malik. Milk. That's what he says. Milk. Malik. Like M E L K. You spell Rami Malik. Rami Malik. I think it's like Malik. Malik. Oh. I thought he was a musician. He is the actor, correct? He is an actor. What did he star in? Oh, Mr. Robot was that show that I know him from. I never saw Mr. Robot, but yeah. I saw like trailers. And... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rin says, I heard it pronounced that way when I lived in Wisconsin. 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 <laughs> Got there before you did. Kendall says, uh, <laughs> or Rin says, Kendall has joined the dark side, <laughs> making ah uh, jokes, <laughs> just trying to fit it into other words. Reminds me of an old Malk versus Milk video, which I think has aged like milk, if I remember correctly the parts of it. That was from Kendall. Aged like milk, huh? Nasty. Into cheese, into delicious cheese. Probably not. Beep, beep. Uh, what do you say we paint one of these guys? What's your favorite so far? We've got sheep. We've got two pigs. Oh, I was hoping to see more. But I want to paint. Oh, okay. Maybe just paint whatever right, you want. Okay, then. okay. I'll draw one, uh, however many more I can get before four, and then we'll switch to painting after the hour. Hey, Sound that's good? a good Sound thought. Good? Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Do you want me to read you some recipes from that cookbook? Uh, that I, <laughs> I want you to read me try? in the chat. Oh. Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah, I'm sure. Caught up. <laughs> oh, okay. Kendall says I'll have to rewatch, but I don't think it aged well at all. That was the last thing. So, we start with. <laughs> wait, wait, wait! You told me about this, but tell the chat about it. Um, I was reading through a recipe book, and these are the ones that I wrote down. A lot of them. <laughs> I'm What's thinking the maybe I should book? just buy the recipe book. It's called How Not to Die Cookbook. And there's a whole thing behind it, but I just want to read the things. Just like Anna just wants to paint. Um, date syrup. I think that would be fun. He has this section in the front where he's like, there's, there's uh, these things that I make that I always have on hand. And I just make it from scratch because I use them in so many different recipes. Yeah. Savory spice blend, which if I had the recipe book two feet closer i could read off the ingredients of <laughs> what was inside some of these things would that make it more appetizing for you do you want me to do that i yeah. could try leaning no i have to take my headphones off oh my gosh yeah i'll be back is it weird to make a beak smile beak <laughs> that's not how beaks work <laughs> what do you oh, draw a beak funny yeah just a beak smiling it's silly like look at that like here's what a beak does <laughs> and then here's where it's silly. well like a pigeon beak is like the smiley face one isn't it it'd have to be like like a parrot Whoa. 
Oh, like a parrot. That's fun. Where'd the name Toucan come from? What's that mean? I don't know if one can, but two <laughs> can. So they were seeing these two hey! birds trying to like carry something off, but one of them couldn't do it, and then yeah. another one showed up and used both of their massive beaks to carry away this branch. Yeah, and yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Two can. Exactly. <laughs> okay, I'm into it. <clears throat> So okay, the ingredients for the savory spice blend include nutritional yeast, Fish. onion powder, onion. dried parsley, Ooh. dried basil, oh, basil. thyme, <gasps> garlic powder, Ooh. mustard powder, mustard. paprika, <gasps> ground turmeric, and celery seeds. That's a lot. But that does sound good, yes. That is a blend. You know, and celery then it, seeds are... Tells you yeah. <laughs> celery seeds are underutilized. Uh -huh. Continue. Oh, okay, yeah. I hardly ever buy celery itself. Um, umami sauce. Is I right? Is I right? Is I, is I right? <laughs> Did I say that right? <laughs> it, he tells you how to make some of that. Um, where did my list go? Roasted garlic, which I never really considered doing, but it sounds easy and delicious. Where you just put the whole head of garlic in the oven and then squeeze it out at the yeah, end. That's what I do for it my just mashed potatoes. Out. Oh, amazing. Talks about a vegetable broth and a recipe for ranch dressing, which I wrote down some of these that I wanted to try because I know Gary really likes ranch dressing. Ranch dressing? <laughs> but I also know that it's really not great for you. Is it <laughs> Especially not? Especially in the quantities that he eats it. <laughs> Roasted. Like, <laughs> like garlic. <laughs> He's such he loves it so much. Like yeah, whenever we go to good. a restaurant, he'll order like four of those little tubs of it. And then tubs. whenever we're making like chicken nuggets at home, it's we've got that big Costco size thing. It's like slathering it. So I'm hoping this healthier version could fulfill that and not I don't know, clog his arteries. <laughs> That's the goal. What's it made of? So this ranch dressing has raw cashews that you soak, um, roasted garlic, almond milk, rice vinegar, blended peeled lemon, which he talks about on page three. Um, instead of cooking with lemon or lime juice, use the blended whole fruit to get more nutritional benefit. When you use just the juice, you lose out on the fiber and all the nutrition that was attached to it. Here's a great time saver. When cooking with blended lemon or lime, peel and blend a whole lemon, then freeze it in teaspoon portions in a small silicone ice cube tray. Um, then grab a cube from the freezer whenever you need it. So that was his little tip there about the blended is. peeled lemon. And then the ranch dressing recipe also includes chopped red onion, some of that savory spice blend from the previous page, white miso paste, date sugar, fresh parsley, and then um, fresh dill. Sounds like it could be pretty tasty. I want, I want some taste tests. Can you just make I know, it yeah. Funny? I well, I wrote down a lot, so yes, I will try out some of these. Um, probably the date syrup. I'm really curious about that one. Um, anything to cut down on sugar intake, especially among the guys in your life right now, are like maybe we should cut back on sweets a little bit. <laughs> the guy, oh, you and James, James. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Which I guess I'll just skip to the sweet section real quick um there's something called almond chocolate truffles that sound delicious mm. no bake oatmeal walnut cookies baked apple crumbles which look delicious <laughs> he's got a recipe for something called nice cream which Ooh. is like healthier ice cream made from mainly frozen bananas and then fudgy oh, no bake brownies and then the last one is a two berry pie two berry which ones any two berries? i think he chose well yeah he does say like switch it up depending on what's fresh that season or whatever um okay, he said cherry for his he did blueberries and blackberries yum the good stuff it looks so tasty look at that am i in the camera oh, oh wait yes you are perfectly 
Okay. Oh yeah, that looks good. I like it. Yum. Yum yum yum. <laughs> By the way, Percy's in the chat saying hi from Ghana. Hello, Percy. Welcome. Hello. <laughs> Hope you're well as well. Yes. Um, the crust is um, pecan sunflower. Ooh. Yum. Oh, it's pecans or walnuts, sunflower seeds, and pitted medjool dates. Medjool. See, the dates, I don't know. I think I've liked stuff with dates in them, but dates themselves I don't like, so... Oh, really? I, I eat it... dates raw every day. I love them. Well, Good I, for you. Right? Yeah. Medjool yeah. dates? The big raisins? Big raisins. <laughs> They're a bit, like, I don't know, pasty on the inside for me? Just yeah, like the they texture. are. They're definitely like gummy in a way. Pasties, probably more accurate, but maybe a cross between the two. Gummy and pasty. Mm, yum. <laughs> it's just such a hit of like sweetness, and I've got such a sweet tooth that that's like candy. <laughs> candy, baby. A very healthy candy. <laughs> <laughs> I really like uh, just all fruits as candy. Oh, yeah. They are Ooh, so good. Fruit is really good. Fruit is amazing. Medjool dates it's like a very strong hit of that all at once for sure <laughs> whereas fruits have like that bitterness or tartness sometimes which is fine when you're in the mood for that but when you just want like a hit of sugar <laughs> a medjool date just be careful of those pits have you ever choked on one no i've never choked on one but yeah. sometimes you bite into one and you're like oh yeah this has a pit in it a stone fruit how were our weekends, Alessandra, in the chat is asking? Good. <laughs> I don't believe you. <laughs> I think you're lying. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, it was great. Uh, we celebrated James's birthday, basically, all weekend. I uh, had a nice little uh, game sesh with some of our friends and took it easy. I think we stayed up till, like, 3 a.m. talking to Mark and Ashley one night. <laughs> Whoa. so way past my bedtime sleep <laughs> yes um and then is there anything else of note not really we took a walk several walks in fact it's beautiful outside even when it's overcast it's been, it's been nice and warm the windows are open love that uh what about you good weekend yeah i basically did all the same stuff mm-hmm <laughs> celebrated james birthday all weekend yes stayed up till 3 a.m talking with ashley uh-huh mark doesn't exist here <laughs> <laughs> you said it was way past your bedtime but once ashley's involved you're like yep that's what happens. sometimes honestly yeah. yeah um we watched episode seven of the dark crystal age of resistance because i gotta work it into every stream that i ever talk about so i have to watch it more often just to make it like this is appropriate to actually talk about it is literally my favorite episode from that TV series on Netflix. Watch it now. We're hoping for season two. Fingers crossed. Um, <laughs> wow. It's got everything that that whole world that they built uh, has across multiple episodes. This has like a bunch of like reveals and pivotal moments, and a lot of the characters get screen time. And it's, true. it's just an excellent um, demonstration of puppetry and then like a meta puppetry. Because some of the puppets in the show put on a puppet show with like smaller finger puppets and my mind when i first saw that was just like what is happening <laughs> it was amazing the there's this guy puppets. on youtube that was uh, really proficient with finger puppets and the producers from um the dark crystal show reached out to him specifically to help animate her puppet that scene um so they like used his hands and they put uh, gloves on his hands to make him look like uh, he was the Skeksis puppet. Oh, wow. Did you look at James? He's filling the water. I couldn't help but look. You should honk. <laughs> Now's your honking time. Honk, honk. Do it. I'll do it with you. All right, everybody do it with me, okay? Okay. Three, Don't two... Don't peek the audio. Too bad. It's gonna. <laughs> no, you gotta, like, sit back. Okay, everybody ready? Three, two, one. I can't do it. Oh. 
Huh? Did you do it? Huh? Are you satisfied? Oh, it's not as good as it usually is. Oh. I wasn't doing this before, so I didn't look you up. We're honking like the bird. <laughs> Doesn't he smile a lot? He's like smiling. <laughs> okay, I'm done. I'm done. Oh, it's so there. good. Those little birds are so annoyed. <laughs> They're so annoyed. I don't remember what he sounds like, but I enjoyed that. <laughs> no basis of comparison. Uh, at the kind moment. of like that. <laughs> kind of. I didn't hit it exactly, but it wasn't the worst. You know, practice makes perfect. So. Yeah, practice <laughs> Next makes time, something happen. <laughs> But yeah, that's um, that's what I was talking about. That's good. At the beginning of this dream, uh, <laughs> Morad says, "Good morning." I'm sorry that we're giving you the sound in the morning. Oh no! It's like a rooster's call. But also, bro. we're very grateful to have you here. So thanks for thanks for sticking around, bud. <laughs> yeah, welcome everyone who's stuck around. <laughs> oh no. Um, we have about three minutes until monkey paws slash switching over to the painting of these animal characters. Wow. You, know you, could, you could finish another one in two minutes. What do I... I'm just thinking. I'm stinking thinking. No pressure. <sighs> it's fun to draw them, but uh, sometimes I just want to start over in the middle of a drawing, which is totally fine. It's just something we do. Welcome to the frog trinet. What if the internet was just frogs? Yeah. Yeah. Move over, cats. Alessandra says, OMG, oh, while I was eating dinner, there was a bird on a tree near my window going so loud. It was like <clears throat> complaining about something. It sounded like your noise, Anna. <laughs> I am truly Sick. flattered. <laughs> That's amazing. Dark Hours in the chat saying, not me also drawing frogs right now. Frogs is <laughs> happening. Frogs. Oh. Hop to it. Uh -huh. Also, if anybody else is drawing animals of any kind, we'd love to see it over on the Discord. We've got show and tell. We've got current work. We've got uh, paint along. Any of those seem like good channels for this. Yeah paint along usually is when people are watching the stream and drawing their, their paint alongs very... yeah what would you say is your favorite animal right now dogs 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 are good there were three of them at the park when i was reading my book and one of them <laughs> had such like a floppy tongue and he was just watching me walk by like his head tracked me and his tongue was just like panting and flopping and he was some sort of pit bull puppy type of thing and it was so adorable pit bull puppy type of thing um and then there was another one that was playing fetch and when it the ball got like i don't know six feet away from me mm -hmm. and it came over and it picked up the ball but then it like looked at me and then it was just like wagging its tail like who are you? And like, then it, hey. and then I was like, "Hi, puppy!" And then it dropped to the ball and was just like, <laughs> "Oh, baby!" And then I was like, "You they gotta take you. the ball back!" And then their owner called, and then they picked up the ball and then ran towards their owner. Um, but it considered. It was just like, "Can I?" <laughs> yeah. Can I? You and me? Yeah. Yeah. It's like, uh, you throw the ball now. I'm confused. How does this work? <laughs> Usually, there's not another human at the other end of this. Yeah, this is confusing. I have to like acknowledge you. <laughs> so We're good. at four o'clock. Yeah. It's time. And on cue, I'm drinking water. All right, give me one second to finish out my thoughts. Uh, I want some other kind of hair. Maybe this guy gets the mustache instead of the pig. Maybe there's just two mustachioed gentlemen. Maybe they have. Wait, very... does he have hairy eyebrows? Yes. Do you see his I, little I worm do. eyebrows? Hmm. Do you remember the frog from Kibo and the Age of the Wonder Beasts? 
Yes. With like a yeah, tux suit. on. Yeah. Yeah. Didn't he have like a goatee or something? Maybe. No one did. <laughs> I can see that. That's also a really good uh, example of anthropomorphic aminals. Do, 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 do. Um, okay. There. Implied. Okay. Uh, time for our favorite segment, Monkey Paws! Ooh, ooh, ah, ah, ooh, ooh, ah. The crowd ooh. goes wild. <laughs> bonga da bonga. Chongu do chongu. Do you remember that from uh, Star Wars? No. When they're pod racing? Oh, man. That's <laughs> why I call pod racing. <laughs> oh. uh, I really took in what those Did you watch Obi? were saying. One? <laughs> um, we watched another episode. I don't know which one we're on or how close we are to being like caught up to now. Wait. Oh. I, think I thought there were only two right? out. I don't know. I've only seen the first two. Cool. I don't know what we're at. Probably two. Three? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Any who's it's what's it's. Uh, this is Monkey Paws. This is a place where we take a moment to assess our, our bods and take care of it. So uh, I'm going to lead us in a hand stretch. And if you would like to join, just follow my prompts. So first we put our arms in front of ourselves like this. Hands straight out in front of us. Fingers to the sky, palms away from us. And then we curl our fingers into what we call a monkey paw. Ooh, 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 uh, 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 good job. Good job. Second pose, we put our fingers to the ground, palms towards ourselves, and curl them in. Ooh, ooh, ah, ah. Ooh, ah, ah. Good job. Third pose, we put our palms out, fingers to the ground, and then curl them in. Ooh, ooh, ah, ah. Ooh, ooh, ah, ah. Good job. And then fourth pose, we put our fingers to the sky, palms towards ourselves, curl them in. Ooh, ooh, ah, ah. Ooh, ooh, ah, ah. Great job. So we repeat these poses, holding for about a second each, around 10 times, so that we can feel a nice stretch in our wrists. If you feel any pain whatsoever, just make sure to stop, rest your arms, and ice them. Uh, and if this isn't the stretch for you, just search for others, because I think that it's most important that we take away the concept that we're taking care of our bodies and doing preventative measures to make sure that they stay good, because we use our hands for all sorts of things, and we want them to stay healthy. This is a good time to close your eyes, to give a break from the screens, to drink some water, uh, not all at the same time, Anthony, <laughs> and to, I don't know, maybe give yourself a positive reaffirmation mantra. You're good at monkey paws. Thank you. That was for me. <laughs> You're good at monkey paws. Thank you. That was for me. <laughs> oh, you're good at monkey paws. <laughs> no. <laughs> Oh, you How broke do I the stop cycle. the cycle? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh, Alessandra says you're good at monkey paws, Anna. You, you, you Alessandra. <laughs> we all are. We're really good at them. <laughs> I actually did them when I woke up this morning because my wrists were hurting. Oh yeah. I did some yoga probably? yesterday and it was heavy on the wrist kind of stuff, like cow pose and stuff yeah. like that. So, you know, you just got to give some wrist love whenever you need. Kendall says frog paws, paws, hands, feet. I don't know. Froggy toes, sticky feet, according to Google. <laughs> they aren't toes. They aren't paws. They're sticky feet. Like those things that you got out of like a gachapon quarter machine. Yes, exactly. Just like Just smack like it against the Smack them at the window. <laughs> oh, yeah. That yeah, I meant. yeah. I think in, uh, <laughs> in the beginning of quarantine, I followed an artist who every single day he would get one of those and stick them to the wall. And it was like his countdown of how many <laughs> days it had been. It was ridiculous. This oh. wall filled with sticky hands. <laughs> oh, man. All right. So uh, once we were done, we we're just going to gently shake out our hands to loosen them back up and then do a few little neck stretches. Uh, first, I'm going to roll my shoulders also because my shoulders are really feeling it. Actually, yesterday I was like, oh, I could pull like a trapezius right now. Oof. That sounds like a sick move. Pull trapezius. Yeah. <laughs> Landed it 360. <laughs> cool. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> and uh the ghoulish laugh is one of my favorites <laughs> <laughs> yeah you really start from the ooh position like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now you gotta throw some like 80s punk kid into it i mean you're very coffee about it like <laughs> I know, well my throat <laughs> okay so next stretches we're going to start by putting our ear as high as we can on one side reach it towards the sky <laughs> and then flop Hold over to the other side and then back again and once more into the breach <gasps> and then we look from side to side as far as is comfortable left right left Wait, don't say the direction. I don't think I'm synced right. up with you. Am I? <laughs> it does not matter. <laughs> yeah, so stop also saying it. Make me self conscious. Flipped. I was just giving you a, a sound prompt of when to turn. It doesn't help. Oh, do honking there. next time. Honk. <laughs> Perfect. Honk. Okay. Got a yawn. Yawn honk. You yawn honker. Okay. Uh, now that we're done with our stretches. Give yourself a pat on the Yonkers. back. Yonkers? Isn't that like a... Thing? It's a town. Where? It's in Yonkers. <laughs> you don't say. I do. I said Yonkers twice. <laughs> Three times now. <laughs> so, are you guys ready yeah, to go back to For drive? painting. Oh, yeah. Oh, painting. Right. <laughs> we need to draw more. How many other animals did you have? The badger. Yeah, but we could just... Three others. So. All right. So Which got... ones? I didn't even watch you paint that one. What was I doing? <laughs> All sorts of nonsense, basically. I was reading recipes. One day. Da, 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 da. I've got the Welcome to the Internet song stuck in my head. Oh, no. <laughs> Those pig heels. <laughs> you like them? There's pig heels and parrots, but other than that, which one's your favorite? Out of the pig heels? I honestly like our first pig. Oh, the first pig. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, I like the big crow. The yeah, big first crow? pig. Yeah. Well, we can paint whatever we want whenever we want however we want and keep designing as we go because these guys are not like dialed in Ooh. oh <laughs> lots of stuff happening Mar all martha in the chat love that song i'm joining late hey martha how are you uh are you talking about welcome to the internet that's from wreck it ralph right <laughs> <laughs> breaks the internet <laughs> is that wrong <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh it's bo berman right <laughs> Is that that new Avril Lavigne song? <laughs> <laughs> okay, your closest on the second one uh, is Bo Burnham and. Uh, what did I say? <laughs> Berman. Bo Berman. Whoa. I mean, it was close. It was close. Just it made me okay. laugh. So. Anyways, yeah, it's. Uh, he just released some outtakes for. Uh, Inside, which is the Netflix special, and so it's on my mind again bigger Whoop. Zoop. Zoop. a little pork pie hat a little bit of la 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 a little bit of Lexus Kendall says I need to watch the Bo Burnham 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 Boopers. B -b 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 loopers b -b 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 and uh i think a few new songs as well do, 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 do. and it's like an hour so <laughs> if the original special was like two hours then you just got another half <laughs> beep, beep. pip pip cheerio Alrighty, dighty, I think. Uh, oh, yeah, we should put all reference up. Yeah, let's go for a pinky pig. What? The heels. 
<laughs> the heels on the pig go trot, trot, trot. No. <laughs> stop, stop, stop. Pinky pig. Pinky pig. Just a little pinky pig. Why did pigs get, like, a bad reputation? Like, it's it's an insult to call someone a pig, but, like, pigs are great. Oh, just the energy they have while eating, I guess? Seems a little ferocious. <laughs> did you see Rin's in the chat saying, um, now I'm thinking of that new boar Pokemon, Lechonk. The new Pokemon Scarlet and Violet trailer have a few new Pokemon, and one of them's, like, this really rotund-looking pig. Aww. And its name's Lechonk. Lechonk! Gary was telling me, this new set of games takes place in, like, uh, a very Spanish-inspired setting. Oh, that's cool. So, Lechonk, he was telling me, in Spanish, Lechon means, like, roasted pig or something like that. Uh -huh. And he said it was the same in the Philippines. Lechon. So, he really likes the naming conventions of a lot of these new Pokemon, because really? they're... Um, using a lot of Spanish derived words. Yeah. For the Pokemon. Love it. Uh, that reminds me, Craig of the Creek had an episode about a lot of Philippine food, or not like about it, but like in, it had it uh, featured a Philippine family who was cooking some of the traditional food, and uh, they said Tagalog, and I was like, oh, I know that. Because of Anthony. Because of Gary. Yeah. <laughs> Gary's mom speaks Cebuano, which is from the island of Cebu in like a lesser known language. Tagalog is like the recognized one. Yeah. Um, and he doesn't know as much Tagalog as he does Cebuano, but mm -hmm. he knows some of the words. Um, it's very fascinating. Honestly, I don't know if I would know about any of it without knowing him Neither would I. You. <laughs> I mean maybe a little bit through lawrence but mm. definitely more when you're dating someone yeah good to know Beep. now i know some inappropriate words <laughs> 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 um, the okay. real highlight of learning us. a new language right? <laughs> <laughs> obviously it's like when do you get to them I don't know. What what colors do hats go in? Coming? Brown. Like gray and red. <laughs> I guess it depends on what kind of hat it is. Oh, this is a, what did you call it? Pork pie. Yonkers. <laughs> I think a lot of those ones were black, like felt black, it looked like, and then they had like a feather accent or some little thing in the, what do you call it? Not the brim, the base of the hat. Yeah, it's the brim, right? I thought the brim is like the part that's like near the forehead. But I'm talking about the bottom of the hat. Like the base of the... Where a ribbon might go? Yeah. What's that? <laughs> the base of a hat. I no. don't know, man. Anyway, so like a little accent there, like a feather or something. Ah, uh, yes. Good, 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 good. I love a good feather. A little feather in my cap. <laughs> for my aching feet. Exactly. Relevant. Is that what color is he drinking? <laughs> what color is it? Looks flesh colored. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna change his hand position. Oh. It's gonna go underneath. Rin says the nook where all the feathers go. And there's like some capitalizations in places, so I'm I don't know if that's significant or not. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe it's an Animal Crossing thing? Nook? Perhaps. Is the Nook? Yeah, Tom Nook has the, the Nook's nook. Cranny. Nook's Cranny. Feathers go. go. Feathers go. Oh, Rin says, I just wanted you to think it was significant. I've been <laughs> duped. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha, <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> mm, I have one of the fingers come off. Oh. Uh. <laughs> no, no, not come off, but just like be apart from the other fingers. Know what I mean? Yeah. Good, good, a split. Good. A nice 50 50 split. Like that Disney princess hand hold thing where the two middle fingers are together. Oh my gosh, every single hand is like. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> 
beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> she's beauty and she's grace. <laughs> Whatever, <laughs> loser. <laughs> No, that's a gang sign. Why do you do it like that? Oh, no. Oh. Uh, wh what do you think people just coming to the stream would see when they look at that? Well, you're drawing a pig. No, like, next, like the, what is this to them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm saying they would probably relate the context of pigs wearing outfits to whatever that is and think, like, maybe hand. Maybe Anna's trying to anthropomorphize a pig hand, and that's a study <laughs> on that. Right I think there. it would be like a little <laughs> dancing creature where it's like oh. throwing its hands up in the air like it just don't care. And yeah. It's got like a tail back here. Like a dinosaur. Like that scene in Prehistoric Planet. <laughs> Did you watch the last episode of it? Oh, oh no, I haven't yet. My favorite. Just dinosaur dancing <laughs> with its arms is amazing. very relevant. <laughs> I need to watch it now. <laughs> is hilarious. I Pause watched it stream. like three times. <laughs> and the third time I watched it, Ashley and Sammy both came into the room and they're like, oh my gosh, I was just watching a clip of this on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> it's so goofy. I love it. Oh, I'm so glad. I like the idea that they have goofy dinosaurs. <laughs> There's a lot I don't of serious think he was trying to be goofy, but, but we all oh, laughed at his expense. It is. As it should be. Anthony Jackson says Spider Ham, aka Peter Porker. Voiced <laughs> by John, John Mulaney. <laughs> oh, really? Peter Porker is John Mulaney. Interesting. Yeah, that was John Mulaney. <laughs> Nicholas Cage was um, Spider Man Noir. And we had more than that that you could add, oh, yeah. add to the conversation. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> Spider Man was played by Miles Morales. Did you know that? He played himself. Whoa. Oh, wha. 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 <laughs> uh, and then Aunt May was she by somebody? <laughs> yes, there was a voice. Probably, actor. yeah, yeah. Oh, the other standout one that I remember, um, well, somewhat remember, is Doc Ock was voiced by. Is it Catherine Hahn? Is that her oh, name? Oh, really? That makes sense. Um, is she's uh, Agatha? The, yeah. Agatha, and uh, I guess I remember her most from Parks and Rec as that person that comes from DC and talks to Leslie and Ben. Yes! Oh my gosh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's yeah. Like, I feel like that's where I remember her from most. Oh, I can't quote any of her lines from it, because like, I can't remember exactly what she says, but she's hilarious with that character. I think I was talking to Ashley, or maybe it was you about this, and um, there was a scene where some kids run through a house and she's like oh, reacting gosh. to the kids yeah. <laughs> like they get that big or what were those <laughs> oh, monsters <laughs> oh, she's uh, it's good, stuff. good times but yeah she voices uh doc ock pretty cool that's good i like that for her there's a scene where she's chasing him through some stuff and you hear her voice from a distance and she's like so sinister and i don't know she's so her character is great because she just wants to know the reason and like dissect and <laughs> find out the science behind spider-man and that just makes it so ominous of like she's going to cut you open a lot <laughs> <laughs> and you know pull you apart with her doc arc arms yes good good you gotta love a good villain, you know? It's honestly I one do. of my favorite parts of a lot of movies. It's just like, if they have a good villain, I'm in. Anthony Jackson asks, would you become a spider hero in your your universe? It's for you to choose. I would choose to, if I could. <laughs> it's uh, hard, because I've had this conversation with James many a time. <laughs> Constantly, honestly. Uh, no, it's... it's uh... The question is, if you had a superpower, would you use it to fight crime, right? Because, like, that is, in most people's minds, abstracted because we have a bunch of movies where it's like, oh, yeah, if you have power, then you use it. But then when you think about your life, like, you're giving up whatever you got going on to go be a superhero. 
and like how often do you do that and how how would you even know where the crime's at like a lot of times they just find it like spider-man lives in a city and just goes around for a while and sees bad people. he's got the spider <laughs> sense Hello. yeah but that's not like oh across town there is someone being robbed that's like oh they're throwing a car at my face yeah so. well that's a crime <laughs> what a crime I suppose when it's a bigger criminal, like throwing cars at people's faces, that's when it becomes more obvious, and Spider-Man would probably be, like, privy to that. I know he is. But, yeah, in general, like, if Spider-Man wasn't fighting crime, would he be, like, an excellent trapeze artist? Because he would just, like, sling a web between two buildings and be, like, balance act across it? Or or the good rock climber just out there with his sticky hands going up? (laughs) I don't know, Smith Rock. <laughs> yes. Um, but yeah, what are some other superheroes that you could see their powers used for a purpose outside of what they do for fighting crime? Storm I mean, could be Doctor a good Strange one. Doctor Strange could do anything. Uh, That's true. Batman could just be a regular old detective. Mm-hmm. It's still crimey, though. Maybe a little bit. Well, yeah, Maybe he's really good at chess set. or something. <laughs> I'm a chess champion. Dude, could you, like, go stop a crime, please? <laughs> no. Ooh, a Batman-themed chessboard would be cool. What would the pieces be? What would the pawns be? There was a very cool chessboard in Stranger Things. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I want that. Man, what a good season. Scratched my uh, eyebrow pretty hard. (laughs) Don't know why. Is fine, is fine, I'm fine. Okay. Uh, Ooh. Oh, ooh, ah, ooh. (laughs) Ooh, ah, ooh, ah. Sorry, I'm going back to Star Wars. (laughs) Can't get it. Oh, right, yeah. From the pod racing scene. Pod racing, baby. How are you liking Obi Wan? I'm liking it so far. I think the last episode was a good one. Um, the one that I watched again. I don't know where everybody is in this, including myself. Uh, <laughs> I'm lost. Where am I? Who are you? What's going on? Um, and yeah, I think that. I was talking with James about this, just the concept of the show. So I'm not getting into any spoiler territory or anything, but uh, just the idea of fleshing out the universe and following more characters around, I am torn on. Because in some ways, I'm like, there is a gap of time where we can explore the world of Obi-Wan and like what happens with him, which is cool. Like I liked the whole concept of the show. I liked the idea of going and spending more time. Uh, but then I imagined when the show was over and just felt like, okay, if they go all the way between the time that we last saw him and the time that we next see him in the movies, that would be sad to me if they like bridge that entire gap, because then it, it just shrinks a person's life down to me if they cover all of it (laughs) and don't have those like open gaps of, we don't know exactly where he was or what he was doing. And we don't need to, because having the unknown we can fill in the gaps with our brains which is a huge part of storytelling is like not giving every single aspect to it so that the audience can fill in the gaps themselves anyways that was my thought what about you do you like it the first episode intrigued me the concept of the show i felt was like oh that's interesting um i guess i don't really know much about that character and i like ewan mcgregor so that'll be fun to watch second episode i felt nothing i guess and i haven't really been interested in going back to it Mm -hmm. but i'll probably keep watching i think it's also hard with child actors sometimes it's really hit and miss of like it's taken me out a little bit like Mm -hmm. i'm not fully immersed in this character because i could sense a little bit of the like acting coming through or whatever yeah that takes it out of it for you um so i don't don't know 
going forward, that seems like it might be a constant. Might be, but n I don't know. I would encourage you to stick with it just to see. Because what if it isn't? And then it's like, oh. Cool. Yeah, it's the cost opportunity. If I'm not watching this, then I'm watching someone else. <laughs> <laughs> and that's really important because you only have so many years on this earth to watch things. <laughs> Truly. Would you go back and watch a show you didn't like or go watch a show that you heard good things about? Depends. Oh, you would revisit a show you didn't like? If I had some kind of reason behind it, like somebody said, it's really good at the end. You have to watch it all the way through and then everything comes together. Then I would be like, okay, I'll give it a second try. Oh, yeah. That's a fair point. Toucan is glorious? Where's the toucan? The dancing toucan. Is that a toucan? I mean the beak. <laughs> <laughs> I mean the beak! Now I feel like I need to draw a toucan. Because you've said it, and they've said it, and it's all it's all said. It's all said and done. This is the way toucans are, right? Yeah, do you remember the slogan for 2D Fruities? Fruit Taste loops? the rainbow. Uh, I like fruit. Toucan Sam can... Hint? No, I don't remember. Oh, you don't remember? Okay. No, I was asking. I, I drew like you were getting close. Oh. Yeah, you did. <laughs> Shut it down. I drew a toucan once upon a time in high school in like incredible detail with the colored pencils. And uh, again, I never finished anything in high school, so it doesn't exist in its entirety. But um, I <laughs> oh. still remember paint or drawing its uh, its beak was yeah. the most fun part because it's just so many colors. It's great. It's so colorful. It's so colorful. <laughs> and then the rest of it's like black and white. <laughs> Kendall says, when I was little, my neighbor had a toucan. Is that legal? <laughs> that doesn't seem like a toucan would thrive in Colorado. Oh, uh, Rin's got to go. Uh, have a great day. Thank you so much for being here. What? Where toucan is it in Colorado that? seems, yeah, weird. Um, in the chat. Oh, that. I see now. Oh, that. That chat. Didn't know that chat existed. <laughs> but yeah. Well, the... Rin said that and then messaged three more times. <laughs> oh my goodness. Also, our music's been turned off for like ever, probably. Oh, this no. one's called Marshmallow Pie. Ooh, are you excited? I don't get to hear them, but I am excited. I mean, it sounds cool. Marshmallow <laughs> Pie. I'm into it. Is that the kind, um, like, sweet potato pie where you, like, toast the <gasps> yeah, marshmallows on top? on top. But I didn't, I've never heard that called marshmallow pie, but that does sound good. Mm. Sounds like marshmallow pie. Sounds like marshmallow pie. <laughs> so, more recipes, huh? Oh, um, tell me There's that. a category called Stips, and one of them is a golden chai. Which Stips? What sips. Oh, like Sips. sips. Gotcha. Sips. Um, sips like golden sips. chai. <laughs> sips, um, like sips. <laughs> <laughs> then we've got a banana chocolate smoothie, pumpkin pie smoothie, and a cherry berry smoothie. All sounds yeah. good. Yum, 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 yum. The golden chai seems like it takes a little bit of work, but if we hang out together, we can I think it. it would be fun to do. I think it only makes like two cups and it takes like an hour <laughs> fun okay that's our afternoon because you're literally like grinding the spices and then putting them together in like some boiling water on top of the stove and then blah 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 and letting it cool it's like one of the longest parts mm -hmm. but that's how it's really made so we gotta make it that way Kendall says, but honestly, the scariest bird was named Apple, and he screamed a lot. Oh. Was okay, Apple, Apple a toucan? A lot goes on in uh, Colorado that we didn't know about. I know. 
for it. I <laughs> We're finding out more every day. What do you guys Shrew. think? Does he have does he have eyes? <laughs> do you like the eyes? Yes. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Apple was a cockatoo. Aww. Oh, but it's scary because screaming. Well, the definition for cockatoo is not what I expected, but I guess the name kind of should have led me in that direction. Oh no. <laughs> Read it on your own time. Um okay. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> it's making me laugh. <laughs> ah. <laughs> we have about half hour left today. Oh my gosh. Well, I'm having fun painting this guy. So uh let me know if you have any questions about any of the technique or any of that stuff. I'm just basically grooving on him right now. Maybe do slightly darker. And tell me if there's anything that's like off center or weird about him that I'm not seeing. I'm confused about his mouth area. It's on the side of his snoot. Does that make any more sense? Or do you feel like it should be readdressed? I've... I've... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe. I don't know if it's reading is clear. I think something to do with the ascot and the nose touching. And is that the mustache too? Oh yeah, I didn't... I, he doesn't have a mustache. I do like the eyes, though. I like that little bit of glimmer. Little glint. Seeing something over in the corner, like what he's going to do next after he drinks his golden chai. Ah, <laughs> golden chai. Yum. Is that weird? Kindle says, I think this snout and shadow colors are too close for the mouth color it reads as joker to me why so serious <laughs> his eyes really changed huh oh yeah i love that sketch face dot eye what, you what like an the dot aesthetic eyes? i do i always like a dot eye but i also like those eyes you're good at eyes what else you got? Super hardcore anime eyes with stars and all those circles. <laughs> all those circles. Like a Sailor Moon eye. Hello! <laughs> hey, I see you. I'm gonna just do like seven or eight of these guys in there. Amazing. Did you see Turning Red? You saw Turning Red, of right? Of course, yeah. Oh, so good. Not like a little... All the little anime bits. Oh, yeah. Love oh, it. and it's gotta have like the. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I mean it's disconcerting with just the one. But... No, 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 it's good. <laughs> what you think this should be like? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, proportions are great. Yeah? Proportions. Proportions. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's like amazing. Blushies going off the off the face though. I think it's good. I think yeah, I'd, I'd call it a day. <laughs> uh, oh gosh, the between. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, it's like that scene in the Matrix. Ooh. I don't know what you're referring to, but sure. When Maybe his mouth we just gets don't get covered over mouth. his skin. 
<laughs> hey. Did you guys see that black cat just then? <laughs> yeah. I just had deja vu. <laughs> The the there. It's a trap. Oh, what a good movie. It's a trap! <laughs> that's not that same movie, it's is it? It's the exact same movie, yes. Is that how he says that line? Yeah, it's exactly. And he's like an octopus alien. Yeah, he's like, it's a trap! <laughs> an octopus alien. Oh, dang. It's been a while since I've seen it. <laughs> Can't That's awesome. <laughs> Jurassic Park. <laughs> you get it yet? Star Wars. Which one? Pod Racer? <laughs> I think that's just the general Star Wars theme, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's called like Leia's something or other. Right. Right, 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 right. Ashley's gonna sign up for Hulu again, and I'm excited because I want to watch Spaced in Broad City. <laughs> oh my gosh, did you ever finish Broad City? Yeah, multiple times. Nice. Oh yeah, we watched one episode together. <laughs> no, we like watched several together. Oh, we did. Yeah. What was your favorite? The one where they're trapped in the apartment. Oh god. What? I've watched it several times and I don't remember that one. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, I might be describing it wrong, but there was a bathroom incident. That's all oh, I'm okay. Saying. Yeah. Did I, <laughs> I think there was a storm or a hurricane or yeah, something. Yeah, something like that. So it was more sheltering in place than trapped. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> the technical terminology is lost. Well, I don't know. When you say trapped, it makes me think like the plot of the episode was they were trying to get out of the apartment and hijinks ensue with the different methods that they use to like yeah, get out like of a that window. Yeah, I just like you said like shelter in place. Like it was some kind of like you have to be like correct about this. Well, yeah, because it. What do you want to sit around being I wrong? I thought about <laughs> the episode because when they're sheltering in place, it's like they're not trying to get out of the apartment that they're trapped in. Sheltering in place. It's a different feel. But yes, Liz Lemon, if you want to get <laughs> correct about the Avatar Marines, <laughs> look how much cheese I can put in my mouth. That's not that much cheese. <laughs> the face she makes is just like so downtrodden, but with a face full of cheese, <laughs> like one of the pieces falls out. <laughs> oh. oh my gosh. That was the 30 Rock reference, if no one's following, because nobody's. It's, it's a lot. There's a lot of stuff. <laughs> Sorry going if on. you Sorry. all spaced. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Space is a good show. <laughs> it's so good. Say your favorite line from it. Well, I can't. Oh, yes, I'm you bad can. at saying no, it. No, you're but great at it. Come on. If Jake was here, he would type it in the chat if Brian was here. <laughs> and then I would try to say it. But only if those stars aligned. It's <laughs> oh, the only way. Do. Yeah. You did honk for me earlier. Uh -huh. Is it better without the mouth? Everybody good? Everybody cool? <sighs> Nobody really said yet. Yeah. <laughs> How the Sundra says, y'all are funny. Love the sound effects. Anthony Jackson says, do I need to watch 30 Rock? 30 Rock is a great comedy show. It definitely has some episodes that didn't age well i feel like <laughs> yes uh it's it's always with a grain of salt because there are some episodes but then also it's a really really well done great show for the most part it's like one in i don't know 20 episodes or something it's like ugh. one in 30 let's go with sure sure so yes if you want to enjoy a really good comedy it's just not always the most progressive was the guy in that one episode with the uh, Don Strauss the mm. same guy that is in Stranger Things? That's Paul Giamatti. No, that's uh, Paul what? Reiser you're thinking of. What? They're both named Paul and they look the same? They don't look the same. <laughs> they look the same. Otherwise, I wouldn't have been like, hey, is that the same guy? All right, look him up. Look him up back to back. Paul okay. Giamatti and Paul 
uh, oh. riser. Geomati. That's a guy from Stranger Things. <laughs> right? Are you trying to be wrong? Paul. <laughs> what did you call his name? Rise. Riser. 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 Oh, Riser. Oh, no, not him. The Russian guy. That is with Winona Ryder a lot of the time. Murray. Murray. I don't know who plays him. That's not Paul Giamatti, though. You're right. It's not because it's not shown up under his like recently done yeah. things. Also because I know. <laughs> it's just that, that little, little, strange things. <laughs> Murray actor phone number. <laughs> okay. What? Stop doxing him. What? Murray Bowman, portrayed by Brett Gelman. They could be brothers. They could be. Everybody in Hollywood is somebody's brother. They look similar to my eyeballs <laughs> no i could totally see that i thought you were talking about paul Reiser. <laughs> probably oh yeah no you said paul and i was like what paul who why did i say paul giamatti paul giamatti you said paul giamatti i had no idea who either okay. of them were you confused yourself gotcha <laughs> Basically, I'm always wrong and don't know what I'm talking about. So same. Enjoy that. Like that guy was not the same guy. <laughs> <laughs> We're wrong together. <laughs> and you know what they say, two wrongs don't make a right. So but two buddies confused. make a pie. We will, that two berry pie. Two berry. Two can, two can. No, I have a book on pie. That's what we're going to use. Oh, you no know No health, what? all butter. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I'm not assuming that these pies are going to taste like the best pies I've ever had because they're trying to be healthier versions of all of those sweet dishes but I'm trying to scale back and still enjoy it sweet treat every now and then again and then again well maybe not every now and again more regularly I want to enjoy sweet treats so I have to start making healthier versions and then on those special occasions it's going to be the butter pies, the butter pies. just butter pie <laughs> just all the butter yeah yeah I understand holidays and weekends but not weekdays every single I have to weekend cut back somewhere <laughs> every single one friends oh boy never take a break always be treating always be treating we have about 15 minutes left oh my gosh kindle says quote you confused yourself <laughs> me every day <laughs> you played yourself yeah that's that's me every day as well, Kendall. Right there with you. Oh, I I do that whenever I'm at the yeah. Whoa, that face. You're not satisfied <laughs> with what you drew. I'm <laughs> looking at the wrinkles on the elbows and stuff, and I'm just like, why? Like, why do I need that? I don't. I'm just gonna get rid of them. Anyway. Was it on. in the reference? <laughs> yes. <laughs> that's why. <laughs> Um, mm. sometimes I'll be reference, rinsing vegetables reference. off and I'll switch it to like the spray mode, like the shower mode on the kitchen faucet. And then it's got like the regular stream mode where there's like this little switch and it goes between the two. And then I'll often forget to switch it back to the regular stream and it will be high. I just like go over to the sink, turn it back on. And I'm so used to like turning it on to full cause it doesn't come out that hard unless it's on the shower mode or whatever and it like jettisons out and splashes what? up all over me but the thing is i also do it to other people on accident <gasps> anthony <laughs> like i always forget to switch it back and then ashley will go over to like read something off and it, it scares everyone all the time mm -hmm. <laughs> oh but it happens so often oh it's funny it's just so frightening and abrupt is it funny because i feel like you're all just being like attacked yeah, it's like a home. miniature trauma thing, but oh, then afterwards gosh. it's like followed by laughs. So <laughs> something about that, is like ah, I'm scared, but it's funny. It's okay, and I'm I'm okay. That makes it funny. <laughs> it's your body trying to get over its fight or flight response. It's like yeah, oh yeah, oh, yeah. I'm laughing at this. Yeah yeah yeah. yeah. No, it's fine. It's just water. <gasps> <gasps> it's like when you're waiting for toast to come out of the toaster, and it always spooks you. 
when it finally does pop up. That's kind of what it it's like. It doesn't ever spook me. But... What? You never just sit right at the toaster, right above it, feeling like the heat go onto your face, and then it pops up at your eyes, and that doesn't scare you? First of all, I never wait for my toast. It's usually what? a thing where I it's like... It's already made for me. <laughs> <laughs> I asked for two half-a-minute eggs, not a half-minute two eggs. <laughs> what a privileged life I've exposed myself to lead. Um, okay, so, no, I'm usually making toast along with other things. So, right, like, say I'm yeah. frying an egg in a pan. I'm not going to sit there at the toaster while my egg is burning. So, I'm up and out and doing stuff. I'm getting the cream cheese out. I'm getting the, the everything bagel seasoning out. I'm getting the pesto out. So, what you're out. saying is you don't have your mise en place prepared. <laughs> yeah. Well, a breakfast does not require it, in my opinion. I suppose, yeah, I don't really put things on my toast. Hmm. Well, usually we have sausage on toast, but it's a fake sausage because I'm vegetarian. So it's uh, the Morningstar ones are one of our favorites. And then sometimes Summer, the field roast Summer, Field roast, yeah, oh, field roast. Field roast is so good, man. But they're so expensive right now. It's like eight bucks, nine bucks. It's ridiculous. Wow. Um, but Hot when dog. we do have them, I know when they we do have them, they are greatly enjoyed. And uh, other than that, usually it's just the field or, or the morning star. And then uh, we've been getting into the habit of making breakfast burritos, which takes a lot of like prep and stuff. But then once they're all ready, then your mornings are a breeze. That's right great. before your second nap of. First nap of the day? <laughs> Technically, it would be a first nap, but a second sleep. <laughs> yeah, second sleep. I guess that's what I was getting at. Alessandra says, LOL, it scares me too, Anthony. And Kendall says, me just visualizing Anthony hovering over his toaster waiting for fear. <laughs> He's like, it's a hot mm-hmm. fear, let me tell you. <laughs> Alessandra says, wow, Anna, you have your personal chef, LOL. <laughs> you know I do. What, your personal chef doesn't scream when the toaster pops up? <laughs> <laughs> Flying honks. It should be like scary little toaster instead of brave. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But yeah, that uh that anticipation I think only happens for me when like I'm boiling water or something like that. What? Which is why dumb. <laughs> Cause I get like, I don't know, like usually I will be waiting for the water last. I just don't put it on early enough. So it's like the last part of whatever I'm making. It's silly. Also lately I've been eating lunch super late. Uh, like right before we started getting ready for the stream, I was eating at 2.30 basically. Is that a late lunch? Yeah. Usually it's like around one. Oh. Don't you think? Yeah, I suppose so. I mean, I try to eat by two o'clock for lunch. Mm, okay. And that might drift to like I'm still eating at two thirty, but if I finish by two thirty, I consider it still lunch territory. And then yeah, dinner is like I don't know seven, it's not too much longer afterwards. Right? I don't. Know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Depends. I don't know. I feel like we also have pretty late dinners comparatively, just because we don't always have everything prepped beforehand. Sometimes it's easy, like I made enchiladas last night, so now tonight we're going to have easy dinner. Just pop it in the oven, have it like 15 minutes later. Perfect. Heck yeah. Good, 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 good. Uh, But then other days you're like, I have nothing prepared and the only food that we have is like intensive stuff. And then James ends up eating a quesadilla again. (laughs) Judged. (laughs) I don't know if... You were judging him or just judging the situation? Just all of it. (laughs) It's bad. Judged. But uh, my go-to is usually like a taco or something. So it's like only a few more steps than I guess. (laughs) (laughs) Right. (laughs) But yeah. Um, Kendall says, my family and I always find ourselves eating dinner at like 9 to 10 p.m. Before 8 is a rare dinner, unless there's company, which apparently we have this evening. It's early dinner. It's early dinner day. Yay. 
But then is your stomach like, oh, you ate too early. I'm hungry at like nine. Maybe, yeah. I think my grandma has dinner around like five. Yeah, see, that's like, I don't know if my body would take that. I'd be hungry again, I think. I usually snack around five. What are you snacking on lately? Not dates. What are lately snacks? Uh, like chips and salsa as a go-to because I can control that amount. I can just do like a little bit of salsa, a few chips, or I could do like, I'm hungry, salsa and chips. <laughs> um, and then usually we have some kind of, I don't know. I love it when there's like a side dish laying around where I'm like, oh, I made like orzo salad or something or yeah. uh, a nice pickle. Mm, that's good stuff. Yeah. Dill, right? <laughs> oh my gosh. Grillo's garlic dill pickles are amazing. Especially when they're like really, really fresh. The first day you get them, you got to eat like five of them. They're so good. Mm. Are they full pickles? They are, are they quartered, quartered, I believe. Yeah. So they're spears. Spears. Rich Those are at spears. Costco? Yeah, they are. Oh my gosh. You should get them if you haven't. They're so good. I have it. Maybe I'll treat myself when I'm over at your place. Have a little preview. Oh, oh please do. <laughs> a pickle preview. <laughs> That's <laughs> that doesn't have any double meanings, right? <laughs> <laughs> it does now. Oh no. A pickle preview. What could that be? Uh, <laughs> uh but yeah. Uh, should we have any uh, sorry, uh speaking of the drawing, should we have any like steam or anything coming out of the cup or yeah, a cute little steam swirl. Cute little steam. A cute little steam swirl. Oh, yeah, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, sick. <laughs> sick indeed, sir. <laughs> you, got a, you got a hot beverage that's so sick. <laughs> Look at it. I put little sparkles on his eyes like you like. Oh, and they're the dot eyes. It's like best of both worlds. It's the best of both worlds. Kendall suggests frothed whipped cream with sprinkles. Oh, heck yeah. Wait, where did that come from? What? Was there if a you should put um, steam coming out of the cup? I'm assuming oh. Kendall was like, maybe not steam, but froth whipped cream with sprinkles. And it came from a craving. Alessandra <laughs> says in response to a question of yours of what to put in on the cup <laughs> toast not a toast not toast definitely not a toaster toast i <laughs> so definitely I that, like right? 10 toasters with toast coming in and out of them yeah the pig looking down and anticipating in hot fear <laughs> anticipating in hot fear is my new band name <laughs> i'd listen to that <laughs> Wait, no, that's got to be the, the album, uh, Anticipating in Hot Fear, by... Temples. They had an album <laughs> called Hot Motion, so not too far off. Okay, sure. Uh... Have you listened to any new music lately? Ooh. Uh... Not really. <laughs> uh, I mean, the, the inside B-tracks or whatever, um... I felt for a moment that I did, but I don't think so. Interesting. I know. It's a weird feeling where it's like, am I just forgetting? I just listened to music. Hmm. What was it? I guess I made that up. Was it Dance Fever? Yeah. Did you finish I that? To that? Yeah. I've listened yeah. to that. Oh. oh. Okay. Is that. That's Froth. <laughs> <laughs> so, Bunny Tail. <laughs> Now it's bow. <laughs> I feel like it's a mug of beer, like a, a stein with the. Froth That's way the too top. much froth. Way too much froth. <laughs> it's definitely bow. <laughs> <laughs> Just bow on top of something. Just like yeah. <laughs> a log. A cup. I love. Kindle suggests maybe it's a snow cup. Now it's bow. Uh. Well, okay. Here was the thought. Oh, you're gonna hide his whole ascot. What? I thought you were going to stop early. <laughs> Sorry. Thick thin. Thick thin. Make it look like a book. A piece of paper. Leaf? 
a leaf on Ribbit. the wind. Did that come from your side? Yeah, that was children in the distance. Screaming. Yeah? What do you think? Cute. Does it work? I get what it is. But does it work? What qualifies it as working? I don't know. Give me a checklist. <laughs> Passes. What do I think? What do I think? <laughs> this is a good question. Gross. <laughs> I don't want to think. Uh, let's see here. Looking at a distance. About five minutes. Yeah, no pressure. Just counting down every second. Four. <sighs> What's his story? Who lives, who dies, who tells your story? Is he getting ready for work or is he already at work and he's listening to someone give a presentation? But maybe he it's like not even a real presentation. And he has been chopping wood for the family and then he comes in and has a hot mug of cocoa. I feel like if he was chopping wood, he might have some evidence of that. I just felt like he needed it. Okay, he could be holding something else in his hands. What do you think would be held? A book. Oh. A laptop. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <Hello>. God, yeah. <laughs> MacBook like, in his arms just came in from the cold. We, make it, like, we can make it funny. Let's watch YouTube. Somehow, right? <laughs> Amazing. You can make it, if you were going to do the little symbol, it could be basically the Apple logo, but since pigs eat out of troughs and it's usually like the leftover cores of apples, maybe it's like an apple with two chunks taken out of both sides. Because, you know, pig. We could be a big pig too. Oi! that look like nonsense <laughs> it sure does good that's what i was going for so i'm listening to a different lo-fi song um apple had an event yesterday did you see anything from it nope they're releasing well it's not like big surprise or whatever but a new macbook air with an m2 chip in it oh. stepping up from that m1 chip Ooh. i don't even know what the chips are cool yeah apple's doing its own silicone they call it i guess um, they're just making their own chips because in the past they relied on intel for their processors but now they're making propriety proprietary ones and they dubbed it M1 for that first chip and now it's the second generation M2 chip oh. and it just comes with like it's this much faster now blah 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 but um, um yeah that was the biggest thing that I thought was significant from it they're also doing like software updates but those don't come until later this fall one of them seemed cool. What was that? They like, um, if you own an iPhone, you could use it as a webcam. Oh, interesting. Like wirelessly. Um, and they're selling this little like dock for you to put your, put on top of your monitor mm -hmm. and then your phone rests on it. And then it uses your iPhone camera and it like wirelessly connects with your Mac and just automatically 
uses that if it detects it. That's and, a very smart um, move. It's like a way better camera on the phone than it is in a lot of monitors. For sure. And it also has that ability to do that thing called center stage because one of the cameras on an iPhone is more like a panoramic. So if you move around in frame, it like follows you. Hot dang. In the room. Am I going to start using that instead of this camera? I don't think for streams, but maybe on video chats with Corinne and me or something like that. I'm thinking, like, I have a webcam that when we do traditional work, usually I have that on me, and then oh, camera, yeah, that camera, was the camera, other. Down. There's the other thing that that thing did. It did both of those simultaneously, because on the back of the iPhone, it's got, like, an array of cameras. And they said, they didn't really explain how it worked, but it's got to be some sort of, like, um, post-processing AI that just does it in real time but uh it had a video of you as you are and then it Me? also had one oh of God. your desk it. right in front of you <laughs> ah! the same camera on your monitor from your iphone because of the panoramic quality of it i guess is able to like capture you straight on and your desk top down at the same time that's insane how how is that physically possible well, like I was saying, it's probably some sort of like algorithm to warp it into what looks like would be top down. Hmm. But it looked good. If it looks good, right? Yeah, it looked good. <laughs> We're at five of two. Ah. Do you like the book? Oh yeah, it's a, it's a good book. You should make it the Confederacy of Dunces. <laughs> oh. I'm gonna make it ambiguous. Kiddo's gotta head out. Gotta get ready oh, for company. See ya. Have a great have a night. Have a good dinner. Thank you so much for hanging. Also, everybody, check out our wonderful mods. They have links down below. And you should check them all out because they are not only mods, they are awesome creators and also just people that you should show some love. Uh, Kendall is one of those. Thank you, Kendall, for being our lovely mod. Uh, also, Rin saw you tonight. And also Dark Hours. And Jake. Oh my gosh, did we have everybody? That's amazing. Did we? I think we did. Oh yeah, all the mods you mean? All the mod things. Modders, moddies, mod mod. We need to have a mod get together soon. For sure. Mod pod. Okay. Uh, all right. I painted a pig man and also drew whatever this is and a toucan. Episode five of Prehistoric Planet. You'll know. You'll know. You'll know. You'll know. You're going to watch that tonight, right? Uh, we're going to watch the Masterclass Neil Gaiman tonight. Oh, yeah? How long is that? I have no idea. Some of those are like eight plus hours. <laughs> we will start something. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Well, don't forget, you could also watch it on your TV if you wanted to, like, eat dinner and watch it. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I don't know how that works, if it's, like, an app through Roku or if you stream it through your iPad. or. But I know it is possible. It's possible. I believe in you. So, uh, thank you all for being here. Replay Landers, we love you, too. You are amazing for watching. And uh, remember that all the replays are available on Behance and YouTube. And until next time, remember to stay vaccinated. Stay vaccinated. Don't, don't rescind <laughs> so that. Don't suck it out. <laughs> Boosted. Mask up. Be kind to yourself and to others. And remember that you are loved. Thank you so much for just being a lovely person and hanging out. Anthony, is there anything you'd like to see, see before we go? Yeah, what there's loads I want to see before we go. Um, I want to see you dance like that toucan dinosaur. <laughs> Yes! Dream fulfilled. <laughs> Was it See, like I think that? that practice honk earlier really paid <laughs> off for this extra bird noise we got. It really, you know, made the throat ready. Like, there's a lot of stuff <laughs> right, that yeah. goes on in here. The vocal so. warm-ups. <laughs> oh, bye, Jessica. Bye, Kendall. Bye-bye. Uh, okay, have a great night, everybody. Enjoy yourselves. Stay vigilant. We'll see you again on Thursday. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> do, 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 do. After party.
What's up, Welcome. everybody? What's, what's up? <laughs> Hi, welcome! We're starting a stream. It's just a different kind of stream. It's where we make bird noises and talk about... What was the thing you said? It was like the relentless fear and something or something else? What relentless fear? We were going to make it the album. The album name. Anticipation of hot fear. <laughs> hot fear anticipation? Hot no, I like, like the that. anticipation of hot fear. It, yeah. <laughs> that's um, toast. Uh, that's toast. Oh, <laughs> that's is that the, the band name? The band toast. name is Toast, and the, and the album, album name is. is The Anticipation of Hot Fear. Yeah. I'm into it. And then, like, oh, oh my gosh, one of the CD sides would have a toaster with the toast down, and then the other one would be the toast up in midair, freaking someone out. Whoa. What if that's what happened with the CD when you open the jewel case and it pops out? <laughs> Great. Good thing they don't sell CDs anymore. <laughs> it's all digital now. Uh, uh. That's like a snakes in the can. Exactly, but hot fear. <laughs> so. Hot snakes in a can. <laughs> That's our next toy invention. Hot snakes in a can. <laughs> come one, come all. See the sizzling slither. <laughs> <laughs> cool. That's our pod racer name. <laughs> Now nah, that's what I call pod racing. <laughs> oh my god! I'm one of the guys. Oh, I did uh, a pretty good Zabulba the other day as well. No, did you? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm eh, eh, eh. Do you remember okay, Zabulba? Okay, I do. Yeah, Zabulba had like a long mustache and was like the main rival on the pod racing track, right? <laughs> I don't remember the guy's name that um... sold him. The Sultan? blue one, yeah, that Gonzo. Was his name. Uh, Gonzo, yeah, that's what I was gonna say, but that's a Sesame Street. Character, right? <laughs> what is his name? Or is that a Muppet? That's a Muppet. <laughs> that's a Muppet. That's right, a I'm Muppet. It uh, oh gosh, slave owner on Star Wars. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what is his name? Blue. Um, blue. <laughs> yeah. Wado. Wado. He's the pizza. Pizza song. Yeah. I think <laughs> that's kind yeah. of my impression of his voice. Also, that's can good. you um, can you give me a little Qui Gon? Me? Yeah. That's not even like a monster. Oh, okay, voice. it's just me... a really sexy man voice. <laughs> I don't know if I Whoa! got that. Whoa! <laughs> I didn't know how you felt. Okay, I oh, take I'm it all back. about those great Jedi's. <laughs> What path do they really walk? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> well, whatever path it is, I hope ours cross. <laughs> Stop. Okay. Have a good night, everybody. Bye. <laughs> We're quite gone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wanted to make an Obi-Wan thing, but like I can't I can't right now. Okay, bye. Let Qui-Gon's be quite gone. <laughs>